Is Dogecoin moving to proof of stake? An important question. And I've got the answers you seek along with where this will likely send not only the Doge price, but the impact it will also have on anyone mining Dogecoin. My name is Vosk, you're on the Voscoin YouTube channel, and you should listen to me because I have a Doge. I'm kidding, but but I really I really do have a Doge. It's uh, she's the cutest thing in the world. I'm the most interested in this question personally because we are building out the Voscoin mining farm. And a key piece of that farm is script mining, which is the Doge coin mining algorithm. Doge is merge mined at the same time with Litecoin. You get Doges and you get LTCs, like coins. That doesn't sound as cool. Both of these cryptocurrencies combined right now at current prices, which are honestly pretty suppressed, uh, command a $20 billion market cap, substantial. You combine both of these cryptocurrencies, they also emit, round up a little bit, but about $2 million per day, $2 million of new coins, $2 million going into, boop, 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 into the pockets of miners per day. This is an expensive question, uh, without a doubt. That's a lot of money. Doge is the second most profitable coin to mine after Bitcoin. And then the third most profitable coin to mine after Bitcoin is Litecoin. The two next coins that emit the most money per day that are the most lucrative for miners are Dogecoin and Litecoin, which entirely revolve around script ASIC mining rigs. These are application specific integrated circuit miners, purpose built machines. There's big ones and there's little ones, right? The uh, most popular little one would be the mini Doge miner. There's the original one, which we did a cool spin on. There's the updated one. Uh, actually, there's been two updates to it, the Mini Doge Pro and also the Mini Doge 2 that just came out. Uh, but there's also the Bitmain Ant Miner L7, which is the king of script mining and a much more uh, you know, efficient buy if you can swing it. It's more expensive, it's bigger, it's louder. But there's also the topic of new miners in the equation. But let's, let's, let's kind of get here to the question, right? Uh, this grabbed so much attention. This was a couple years ago, now crazy. So Vitalik, basically the face and creator of Ethereum, was like, personally, I hope that Doge can switch to proof of stake soon, perhaps using Ethereum code. No, wouldn't that be great for you, Vitalik, my butt? He also hopes they don't cancel the $5 billion a year annual proof of work issuance. Instead, put it into some kind of DAO, decentralized autonomous organization that funds global public goods would fit well with the Dogecoin's non-greedy wholesome ethos. There's a couple ways you could read that, but basically take the money that's being mined, right? The coins that are being mined and put them uh, towards public goods development, uh, basically cryptocurrency development. So right now, Dogecoin is the ninth biggest cryptocurrency when ranked by coin market cap. It's trading at eight cents a coin. It is down 89% from its all time high. Uh, it's up just a little bit from its all time low. It's tracked on CoinGecko. And obviously it used to be even lower than that. $11 billion market cap here, 418, 24 hour million trading volume, crazy. Dogecoin transitioning from proof of work to proof of stake. Keep in mind, this is what Ethereum did. Uh, Vitalik would love to see this happen with other cryptocurrencies. He's against proof of work, even though he was largely one of the reasons that proof of work was used and, and one of the most popular things in the world. Ethereum emitted more money per day than Bitcoin to put into perspective on average for years. Some people would open this by saying, have you checked out Pegapool yet? However, I'm gonna open this by focusing on the fact that they've planted over 150,000 trees. It's a Bitcoin mining pool and they haven't even mined 1,000 Bitcoin yet. That's a pretty big impact for 885 Bitcoins mined. Also, if you're mining on renewable energy, you get reduced mining pool fees. Check out Pekka Pool with the link out in the video description below. But back to the point, Dogecoin released their updated trail map detailing a plan regarding Dogecoin transition from proof of work to proof of stake. The new Doge POS version aims to allow anyone to get rewards for their contribution to running the network. Again, you know, it's basically staking, replace mining with running a node, which is locking up coins, creating artificial scarcity, pumping price. I mean, a lot, a lot of staking mechanisms are basically built around, you know, how can we push this price up? And, you know, the people who get in early make the most money. Uh, Justin Kramer, 
who is Badgerland in the Voscoin Discord server and Voscoin Talk Forum, which you should totally check out and join, wrote this article. Very recently, Dogecoin shifting to proof of stake would be good for the environment, right? I'm biased, but I don't exactly agree with that. But what impact would it have on miners, ASIC miners, manufacturers, right? Script mining will be devastated. I agree with that because script mining um, is propped up by Doge mining. It's the majority of the mining profitability these days. The ASIC miner manufacturers would need to drop prices. But really think about it this way, right? There's $20 million of coins mined per day and all the mining farms are kind of built up and out to that expectation to bring decent mining profitability. You take two thirds of that away, uh, you're gonna have to have a really low electricity rate to even you know, be in the green when it comes to script mining. Some people take the stance that no change is a good thing. Okay, so what if just nothing happened here? Right, and you know, quick recap, Dogecoin began as a meme coin, a joke, uh, a cryptocurrency making fun of Bitcoin. Ironically, the loser who made it uh, flamed it, rage quit, and uh, he created a cryptocurrency that really transcended him, that people really rallied behind. And you realize that a coin that's very low, like very high quantity, very high supply, so you can get a lot of them, is fun, is exciting. You can say I'm a Dogecoin millionaire because you bought a million Doge, not like in dollars, but a million Doge coins. And that was very easy to do until just a couple uh, years ago for most people. Uh, furthermore, right, it's began as proof of work. It's It's been proof of work for a decade nearly, okay? If you change something so fundamental, the question is how much do people care? Dogecoin moving to proof of stake has been a very big question that has just carried a lot of uncertainty until semi-recently, and a lot of people don't know this. A Dogecoin core developer, Mickey Lumen, reveals the meme coin has no plans to move to the proof of stake consensus mechanism. The plan though, right, is to share a proposal with the Doge community to move to a chain different from a traditional proof of stake chain there. But this is where it gets a little muddy, right? Dogecoin's new consensus mechanism will focus on community participation. Guiding factor for the new proposal for consensus mechanism changes the ability for community members to participate prevent large organizations from taking over or control of the Doge network. The proposal will need approval from the community to move forward naturally, and he believes there's gonna be a lot of deliberation before a potential shift here. But here's the deal, is a lot of these headlines really kind of misconstrue things. So when we go straight to the horse's mouth, right? Basically, Mickey Lumen, and, and if you look into Dogecoin developers historically, uh, they are often just as much of a joke as this cryptocurrency is. And it's really to be expected. Historically, you know, Doge was just a quick rip off of Bitcoin, and then there was never really any development. Just this crazy, powerful, impressive community developed around it. But there's no incentive to develop Doge because they don't get compensated. They have a foundation, they get some donations, you know, but this wallet, for example, in their foundation manages a sum of 5 million doge. Like, honestly, to be just piloting a $11 billion ship and you have a whopping $400,000, it's not impressive at all. And that's exactly why a piece of block rewards issuance should go back to developers. Nothing too crazy. Probably max like 5% to the developers or team or community fund, foundation, whatever. Just, you know, something. People deserve to be compensated for work. And it's just issues like that is why Shiba Inu has just rocketed to be, a, to be up to be a competitor. Um, you know, there's a lot of shady things that have happened behind the scenes to get shipped where it is. I'm not a ship fanboy by any means, uh, but we can't disregard the performance and, and stay factor that they have achieved. 15 rank out of all cryptocurrency, $7 billion market cap, 24 hour trading volume, $294 million. Okay, SHIB is a token. They're already proof of stake, more or less. They have things built on chain, they have Shiba Swap. Right, they have multi tokens, they've got their metaverse thing, and they're just always on some stuff, right? You know, leash bone, they have their treat thing coming. Um, and 
you know, they have their Shiba Swap decentralized exchange. They have NFTs. It's ERC20 token, so it's so easy to trade so many places. Obviously, Uniswap, it's right there on their homepage. If Doge moves to proof of stake, they are just a worse version of Shiba that's been there and already has so much built out around it. So I think that it's potentially a kiss of death if they move to proof of stake. If Doge wanted to pivot anyway, I'd rather them pivot to a different mining algorithm. There are alternative mining algorithms that are much less energy intensive because that's the point of view that's always attacked. As if just the, the, the government alone doesn't waste more resources than everything else in the world combined. Uh, but right, they can move to a Laura based network and instead of buying miners from say Bitmain, gold shell we could be buying lore miners um or i really we could just put a new sd card in all of these helium miners that many of us feel a bit rugged on due to nova labs helium inc helium foundation but we've talked about that recently so let's not talk about that one too much today there's also chia's way of green mining right we've talked a lot about evergreen miners my evergreen miners they're earning 60 to 80 bucks a month in mining profitability, you know, per uh, pro device there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great time and it costs six bucks a month to run. Just one Bitmain Antminer L7, which I have, costs more than $6 a month to run uh, just for that one device. Uh, you know, just to, some things to kind of keep in mind and put into perspective. Shameless plug, which obviously you know we're biased with mining. Got some links out down below to buy these miners that we've been talking about if you should happen to want one and support the channel. Uh, but you know, I'm here to bring you the news and not really push my agenda on you, right? Obviously, yeah, I'd love every coin to be mineable. Uh, but you know, the situation is the situation and we just need to analyze that. And I'll throw my two cents on top for whatever it's worth. Uh, but you know, really to round out this video before I talk all day, uh, you know, to, to take this as it is, Basically, it's saying that, no, we're not moving to proof of stake. It's old tech, but we're gonna bring a proposal to the community. So, as it stands, they're not moving to proof of stake. As it stands, this should not be a fast process if it ever is, or, you know, ever does happen. And just to keep saying it, as it stands, uh, there should absolutely be a termination date of like, okay, in two years, this will no longer be mineable with script miners. And then, woo, we're all back off and, you know, we we'll definitely won't be buying any more of those. We'll see. Things don't always happen that simply. I don't believe they're going to move away from it. You got a good thing going with Doge and like you, you hardly even have a dev team anyway. Just leave it alone. Let it run. Let the dog eat. Let it eat, man. We'll see. I need to go check on my dog, see if she's eating, because uh, she had upset stomach yesterday. So it's time for me to go check on our CDO, our chief doge officer here, the Voscoin YouTube channel. That's going to be, of course, Tales. If you forgot or never knew, my name is Vosk. I will see you on the next video. Hope you subscribe and stick around.